Okay, everybody, right. Um, tonight is um, a launch of your new CD and single, and um, we welcome some original material from a very good friend, Marilyn Joy, and her guest she'll announce later on. So please welcome to the stage, Marilyn Joy. Thank you very much. Thank you very much to the um, tennis club to be able to, for me to play again today. And um, I'll just explain a bit. Um, the thing is, um, I haven't released anything for a long time, but I this is an uh, actual proper release like um, musicians um, do really. It's just going to be um, released on Bandcamp, and um, so um, my singles and um, my albums are available on Bandcamp, www.bandcampmarilynjoy.com. And um, yeah, I was going to explain that um, I recruited um, Brian to be on my album to join in a couple of songs. And so I'm going to do the album not in the actual order that um, the, the songs are in, um, but um, he's going to come on a bit later and um, we're going to do the two songs from the album that he's um, present on. And afterwards, we're going to do a selection of mainly Loving Spoonful songs because that's one of the passions that we both have together. Um, yeah, and um, so yeah, um, enough um, chat anyway, so I'll start. So This is my song, um, Superfine, thank you. The second song I'm going to do is um, by, it's called um, Criminal Eyes, and I was very inspired by the 60s uh, group Love, and one of their songs called Stephanie's Knows Who, like, um, I just wanted to write something a bit similar to that, because um, it's got a lot of... Um, uh, what, what they call um, polyphony, I think, is when lo lots of different sounds of different um, instruments are playing, so, uh, yeah. Mm. Waiting till you see 
Um, it's called um, Leave It Out and um, it's yeah actually when I was doing uh, piano at school uh, we studied Bach for musical level and um, I um, am basing my uh, song on one of the things that we did like um, by Bach um, it's called um, yeah as I said it's called Leave It Out um, Influences is um, uh, the 80s pop group Aha, um, but 
yeah, I, I was struck for cash in those days. I was like, um, and so I never bought any of their albums at the time. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, I, this um, song is called um, Face Ache. same ilk as the last one it's um it's about a failed um uh, sort of um romance really like um it's uh called um hate crime <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, so, um, someone else wrote the lyrics for this. Um, I didn't really uh, check it um, <laughs> properly, but um, so I think um, uh, yeah, it's I think it's about um, sort of getting writer's block. Um, but it's called um, Need You, Jimmy. So I uh, hope you like it. Bye. 
such a good time while he was um, doing his act and I just saw the, like, the joy in his face, you know, it's just... Covers are like a talent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, uh, this song um, we're going to do from the album is called Killjoy Was Here. album it's called um, Faye makes her debut and um, it's actually the music is based on uh, some uh, piece by uh, uh, yeah Eric Sarkey that's right um, yeah it's not the one that was used for an advert in <laughs> that's, that's all right um.
Sebastian, you see now, Steve there loves James Taylor. He's met his hero. I've met mine, John Sebastian, who wrote three of these songs uh, that we're doing. Okay, right, so. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, Darling companion, come give me understanding. Let me be your champion. I had to hold your pretty hand, darling companion. Now you never need. 
Simon, I uh, know Steve was talking about her ex, um, <laughs> James Taylor, and um, the song was mooted to be written about him, but I um, okay. don't know really. But um, no. Brian doesn't like this song very much because he thinks it was written about himself. No. <laughs> no, only joking. <laughs> uh, so, um, yeah, I'll, I'll play this song.
you all know the song um, Daydream Believer? That was written by a fellow called John Stewart. He also wrote this next one, which was recorded by the London Spoonful when it was Joe Burma. <laughs> No, no, not tenuous, not tenuous link, but it's Joe Butler, it was an album went under London Spoonful, it was Joe Butler. Uh, Oh, it's nothing more. So I'll 